Zen has officially joined the Vitality roster for the next RLCS split, and we're going to look at some of his best goals from his 1v1 show matches, so you can see why the Frenchman is being so hyped up. The first goal we're going to look at is arguably his best one, and is a double touch off his own backboard, which in the freestyling community is called a psycho. That was probably the one time on my stream that it looked like the plan B. Oh my days! Zen actually hits that! Well, that was intentional. That is the first that we've seen in a one show match on my stream. So, for me, Zen is an interesting player to really try and analyze right now because we don't really have a lot on this guy, but that's kind of what also makes him so unique. Despite the fact that this guy has very little track record within RLCS, very little track record in competitions really outside of RLCS, he's still touted as possibly the next up and coming greatest of all time. The guy's got GOAT status written front and backwards across his forehead, and it's for a reason. He has shown himself to be mechanically gifted, rotationally gifted, just a smarter player than a lot of other people com currently competing within RLCS, and it feels like why he's kind of hyped up. How does he compare to other Rocket League players? I think that he's probably going to be one of the best. He's proven it in ones, he has proven it in twos, he's now already proving it in threes with already a win under his belt. And not only the first one yes it's technically the first one against a lot of rlcs caliber teams but he's had results in a multitude of different places he's been a good player since before good players were really even established again his ban kind of set him back but that ban now being sort of over uh, overturned has turned him into probably the hottest prospect coming up to date it's a little funny talking about Zen because this is one of the few players you can talk about before they even step into their professional journey. They haven't even began performing in RLCS, but they're still basically a household name in the home of any true Rocket League fan. Most analysts are considering Zen a prodigy of the game. At 16 years old, uh, he has over $10,000 of winnings in RLCS. He's being touted as one of the best 1v1 contenders in the game, toppling uh, top 1v1 players in style and show matches and everything. There's no doubting what kind of impact this player can have. So there's a lot of excitement, a lot of anticipation to see even out of the field, his personality, what we're going to witness, what we're going to learn about Zen as he steps into that RLCS scene. so good right now terrifying prospect for the world of rocket league but zen looks this impressive against an active 1v1 player who is as mechanical as lost is i mean everyone knows that lost is one of the most mechanical players in the world everyone knows that he's been grinding recently but he just cannot stop zen zen is up 6-1 he just air dribbled off his back wall got multiple resets and stuck it in the top corner. <laughs> this guy's unbelievable. So, discussing his early years before the van, Zen was still definitely a prominent player, but I just don't think he was anywhere near what he is now. I think back in the day, people knew Zen was going to be good. I don't know if they ever necessarily knew he was going to be the GOAT. That started to kind of come into turn when people started seeing him in these competitions that were not, you know, normal competitions within uh, RLCS. Things like the Urban Series, things like some of the Rocket Bag Get events that were going on, Nice Cactus Weekly, stuff like that. When he got banned, he was already a good player. He had made RLCS, and that's why he got banned in the first place, is for playing underage, so it was clear he could, you know, make it to RLCS. But it's a little bit different now. Now he's got a couple of track record, uh, a couple of things underneath his belt. He's got a track record that would be huge. And I think the reason you can tell he's going to be a top player within Rocket League is just, again, he's the full package. Mechanically, he is gifted. His rotations are on point. He outplays his opponents so often. He is faster than his opponents. He's a lot of what people saw in many of the ones players that have now turned to very high prominence. Apparently, Jack, O'Pallid, First Killer. Um, I'm trying to think of a couple others. Daniel, another really good example here. But all of these guys have proven that those skills that they had in 1v1 were absolutely transferable to a 3v3 setting. So his impact on EU Rocket League right now is, is that he's pushing the limits. What people thought were mechanically capable of doing within a 3v3 setting, very limited. He's starting to prove that a lot of the stuff that was quote unquote only available to him in ones is not just only available to him in ones. He's got a lot left in his bag of tricks.
Now that Rocket League's like seven years older, so we're noticing the young people that join the professional scene started the game at a very young age. What we can tell on the recorded history from Liquipedia is that Zen started in early 2020 when he's just 13 years old, just about winning some of these weekly European tournaments. Uh, nice cactus. Namely, and then of course people notice him at the top of playlists in competitive 2v2, 3v3, all of them. But really, where Zen caught the eye of everybody was the 1v1 show matches brought about by Johnny Boy. Zen goes on this incredible streak against the top of the 1v1 players, defeating Razier's Moxie, apparently Jack. Jorius, Daniel, AJ, Nupo, Yan, all these incredible 1v1 players, he can't lose. The streak finally ends against Rawaz in a Game 7 match. I remember watching that match in an airport and seeing him lose in Game 7 be like, oh my god, the streak has ended. But while people already knew this player would be a prodigy before that, that show match streak, which he continued later on, uh, cemented that knowledge that Zen would be a prodigy. I hate I hate the players are constantly signing contracts like so early. Uh, multiple players like they sign it at the very beginning and off of an off season, and then they get like really good offers, but they can't take them because they've signed uh, a contract really early uh, and lock themselves in. Or in this case, Zen's Zen's locked himself into Vitality for what I assume is some money instead of just waiting out and potentially getting oh, like a, a really great a lot offer. of money though, surely. To be no, fair, okay. you just got paid to be banned. How sick is that? Like, I assume <laughs> you got paid. Like, imagine you just got paid to be banned. That's that's a pretty good deal. You know, he's just like trolling yeah, around but... games. Never mind scrims. He's having a great time. So I can't really blame him. Plus, it's Vitality. You know, it's a big org in France. So, uh, you know, French players are obviously going to have more incentive to sign. Uh, I don't. I, I don't think it's a, a bad move for him to sign early bag of tricks. and actually get paid. What happened when he was banned from RLCS was more or less kind of a shutdown of what would have been the prominence of a new career. I don't want to say that he sort of lost a lot of momentum because I don't think that's fair at all. Honestly, I think part of it is the ban actually kind of helped him gain momentum because he became this sort of shroud of mystery. People weren't really sure what to expect about this dude. They knew he was good, but they didn't really know how good he was going to be because he had never had a proper litmus test against, you know, the rest of the competition within EU. I believe that the ban is just I, I kind of understand why the ban happened we had many bans similar to it in the past i think the only issue i do have is that i wish they had just been a little bit more communicative about you know what that ban entailed in terms of picking up because again vitality grabbed him before he's even available to be a a pickup at all so i don't know I, I i think the ban is a good idea and i think it's the right idea i just don't know if uh if anybody else would have really thought like vitality did where it's like hey let's grab this guy before comes up and and you know not put him as a sub on our roster but just keep him around so that once it does become time we can do that i think a lot of other french teams probably would have shot for the same idea bds being a really good example but also at the same time vitality has been going through changes for a hot minute i don't think that they necessarily were going to stay with the same roster versus bds and some other french organizations carmine corp that were pretty confident in the rosters we're going to stick that way so I think Vitality had made the right move in picking this guy up before anything turned into, but it also kind of feels weird that this was not explicitly banned by RLCS, but at the same time, I can also see where that would be problematic. You don't want to necessarily ostracize this dude to where all of a sudden, as soon as he does become unbanned, it's just the top market of where he's got to try and balance a million offers from a million teams. So good on Vitality for at least trying to scare this guy early, but I bet you a lot of other people are pretty jealous that they thought of that idea considering, I mean, he's the hottest commodity out there. Now, the minimum age to compete in RLCS is 15, but Zen is 16 and only is finally going to start playing with Team Vitality. So what happened? Of course, Zen did get banned in a situation when I think he was 13 years old, uh, subbed into a team that was trying to qualify for RLCS and competed on that team. Uh, which for a number of reasons broke the rules of Rocket League. Number one, he was not of age. Number two, he was not on the roster. Number three, he's playing on someone's account. Someone's account that isn't his. So those are all breaking the rules of Rocket League. He served the one-year ban from what seems like with grace. And while I do agree with the ban, and I think at even a young age, you understand the consequences of that action. Uh, I don't think it puts a bad light on Zen. We've seen other players in RLCS having gone through the same uh, ban before. Atomic on G2, Seiko on BDS. These players go on to do incredible things in the professional scene, and I'd expect Zen to do no less than just that.
It also even creates more anticipation. It's tough that his rookie year will not be in the year we expected it to be, but it kind of just makes the excitement even uh, more palpable. And, and now he's able to compete at, at an older, maybe mature uh, setting. So in many ways, it makes this new entry for Zen uh, all the more to anticipate, especially as his first competition in this Rising Stars European tournament with Team Vitality, they did win. So there's a lot to look forward to. Server first, uh, but that's usually what he does when he plays against Daniel. He did this last time that the two played, and he had the choice of server order. Lovely air dribble bump by Zen. He's actually air dribble bumped Daniel multiple times. It's almost like he starts air dribbling the ball, and then he see so just leaves the ball and air dribbles Daniel instead. <laughs> he's been struggling. When Romas applies pressure to him. Zen again, given so much space. It, no one else is allowed to do this, and this is why. <laughs> Zen, when you give him this much space, tends to score. What's next for Zen, in my opinion, is domination. It looks very clear that him and Vitality could be very good. I think the question is, is how high can they go? Because can they compete at the highest level in ROCS? Yes, absolutely. They are a team that has proven themselves already, even without Zen, to be a solid roster. The bigger question now just kind of becomes is how high can they fly? Is this a team that is bound for world championship greatness or is this just a team that's going to continue to be at the upper echelon of RLCS for years to come? I think that they have the ability to, you know, win majors, win world championships, be one of the best out there. It kind of just comes down to how do the rest of his teammates play and can Zen be adaptable in the previous setting, which like I said, he's kind of already proven himself to do that before. Maybe he might have taken a million one show matches, a million ones events. But even in 3v3 settings, he's done well before, and I honestly don't really have many doubts that he's going to do that well in RLCS as well. It's hard to sit here and say that the next steps for Zen are limitless. He can win whatever he puts his mind to, because while teaming with Radisson and Alpha 54 is going to create incredible opportunities for Zen on Team Vitality, Europe is really hard to win in Rocket League. You have teams like Carmine Core, who literally just won the international major and have arguably the best player in the world, Vitira. You have teams like Team Liquid, who came out off of one of the hottest splits you could ask for, for such a young, mechanically sound team have the same kind of strengths uh, from that team as you do see from a player like Zen. You've Team PDS, who have Monkey Moon and Seiko in newly Rise. That is like a European super team that still is even trying to contend for the top four. And that's not it. There's still teams like Moist Esports and Oxygen Esports that is going to make Team Vitality and, of course, Zen's run so difficult. But that is what's going to make his entry into the professional scene of Rocket League so much more interesting to watch. There's only one split here left in the season, but it's a split that's going to ask for the best out of Zen. Why shape a prodigy story around Zen under any other circumstances? Put him against the toughest of opponents and see what surfaces. Uh, so with this incoming split coming very soon, I think everybody's very highly anticipating what Zen can do with Team Vitality. And that's where all of our eyes will be as it comes up.